This is especially good for proactive work. A petition takes about six, uh, six months um, 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 as, as a proactive measures, and then you can uh, get the index of your members of parliament from your nation or from other nations and uh, approach them, approach them in the in the private, um, your, your, your local MEP or from a different political party, talk to them. In Germany, we have 99 uh, German MEPs, members of the European Parliament, and you can talk to them, and they are usually very open. You can also invite them to conferences and, and things like that, establish relations to them. Um, the other links here, uh, down here, um, this is just, just um, these two, because um, they are, I think they are re relevant. Most uh, bad issues that happened in, in the past uh, went through the channel of the AEF. And the AEF is a somehow strange organization. Uh, have a closer look at this organization. It's an association of MEPs inside parliament, key MEPs inside parliament. And this group is, is financed by industry contributors. So MEPs can only get, mem uh, get political members. They have 12, a board of 12 members, and uh, every, every MEP who ever get in got invited to a, to a dinner party uh, gets somehow a member of this group. And they have a lot of events, and here you see uh, Charlie McCreevy was invited to uh, 27. And um, there are business members, and when you look at the business members, uh, these are the business members and associate members. I think also Idri was uh, an associate member. And there are all those relevant people. Um, this is a strange organization. It's an organization built like um, MEP groups, uh, informal MEP groups uh, on the other side of the Atlantic. Uh, Transatlantic Policy Network is another organization of a similar style. Uh, I think this organization is somehow kind of outspring of it. Um, kangaroo group um, on an upper level, and um, uh, interesting is also um, these organizations are just interesting for to monitor what they are doing, um, and have a look at it, perhaps even uh, get a member of these organization. And Friends of Europe is also interesting um, as an organization because they have a lot of access to um, to Parliament. Uh, I don't have to, no time to talk about uh, the interesting issue of um, of uh, journal lobbying. A good uh, for American um, lobby groups, a good transparency uh, page is SourceWatch. Uh, I really can recommend it. Like, uh, just have as an example, just have a look at uh, the page about Tech Central Station, and then they tell you that Tech Central Station is part of the DCI group and, and things like that. Um, and the other interesting issue is that the commission itself starts currently um, under Commissioner Kallas, I think he's the Greek commissioner, um, starts a transparency initiative. So registration for, for, for lobbyists or things like that, more monitoring, more um, transparency that they lay open their accounts and, and things like that. Um, so um, I, <laughs> I just stop here. Perhaps we, perhaps we can meet tomorrow again or... Um, outside the conference and um, exchange other views. And uh, tomorrow there will be another talk in the morning um, of me uh, with Tonnerre, or of Tonnerre with me better. <laughs> and and um, we will talk about, about software patents and the next, the next steps in the debate. Um, I, I'm sorry it was a little bit uh, much content. And um, well, um, have a look at this link list. Um, I think it's useful as a short introduction, so I say good night. <laughs>